Live webinars. Live webinars involve actual live presentations in front of the camera. You're going to be talking about a very narrow range of topics. The seminar is very specific in terms of subject matter. What makes this different is that you're using a free form approach. You just rehearse what you're going to talk about in terms of talking points, but everything else is up to the crowd. People will show up and view you on their computers. They then type in their questions and you'll answer these in real time. These live webinars are one time events. However, you can set up an option where you can record the live webinar for viewing at a later date by people who have paid to view the original. Appointments are set up for only one time. These can only be viewed when you're talking or people who couldn't show up can view the recorded version. That's it. This is supposed to be special. It's supposed to be a one-time thing. Advantages. The big advantage here is you get to market anticipation for the seminar. This is supposed to be launched. It's a one-time thing and it's a special event. You have these things going for you. Also, when people sign up for your live webinar, it's a golden opportunity for you to sign them up to your mailing list. The form usually has an email collection component. You can use this to get more mailing list members. The biggest draw to live webinars is the live interaction. You're actually coaching live. You're coaching a group of people at once. You cater to each specific audience's needs. These audiences vary, so they all have different needs. This is why people get a lot more value from live webinars. They ask questions that are most important to them. Have you ever gone to a live lecture and you get a chance to question the lecturer? It's very interesting because different crowds have different questions. This adds to the perceived value of the seminar. Every single seminar is going to be different because there are different crowds there. You actually get to charge more money for a live audience because of the impromptu and the improvisational nature of the call and response and audience dynamics involved. This is a golden opportunity to highlight your expertise. People can see that you really know your stuff because regardless of the questions they throw your way, you know how to answer them. Disadvantages. You really have to know your stuff. This is the biggest disadvantage of live seminars. The worst thing that you can do is to say, I don't know. You're going to destroy your coaching brand if you let that bomb drop. The way to save face is to say, I will get back to you or I will find out. Never ever say, I don't know. Also, please understand that a lot of other experts are using the same live webinar format. This is not new. This is not revolutionary. Please note that depending on your niche, there might actually be saturation. It might seem like you're the hundredth person offering a live seminar on your topic. This saturation can lead people to believe that your stuff is not really all that valuable. After all, if it's that unique, why is everybody and his dog offering it? Finally, you have to be quick on your feet. As awesome as the call and response dynamic may be, it can also be very rough on your nerves. You have to know what you're talking about. You have to listen to questions very carefully, understand them very quickly, and answer them in such a way that builds up your expert status. Step-by-step -step guide. Step number one. Pick a live seminar software platform. At the very least, this platform must have a billing and promotional component. It must also have an email collection component or it must tie into your current email collection system for your mailing list. Step number two, pick a date. It's really important to pick the right strategic date. You don't want to pick a date that is too close because people might have made other plans. You also don't want to pick a date that's so distant in the future that people can easily forget. There has to be enough urgency in the date. This is how you increase the likelihood that lots of people will book your live seminar. Step number three, practice prepared materials as well as possible stuff that might come up. You have to know your stuff. You can't look like a fool. You can't look like a deer stuck in the headlights. It doesn't really matter how much of an expert status you have managed to build up prior to this point. All of that will go up in smoke if people think that you are a complete moron. Brush up on your expertise. As much as possible, prepare stuff and keep rehearsing until you have become completely comfortable with the materials that you're going to present. Step number four, look alive, motivated, and eager to help. If you're having a tough time trying to figure out the kind of persona you want to project, look at motivational speakers. Look at how they pump up the crowd. Now, I'm not saying that you should be the second coming of Tony Robbins, but you have to look lively. You don't want to look like a stiff robot. That's not going to help improve your brand. Step number five, Remember that your brand is on the line. Regardless of what you do, please understand that when you are in a live seminar, your brand is on the line. Things might get knocked loose. It might be an unforeseen accident. Any of these could be murder on your brand. Please conduct yourself professionally. Don't insult people. Be helpful, be positive, and be optimistic. Step number six, call people to action regarding your books. You have to understand that although you're getting paid for this live seminar, this should not be your only way to earn a living. You should also push your books, your canned videos, as well as your live coaching services. Finally, 
You should call people to action to share the word about your seminars. Tell people to tell their friends and family members about the stuff that they've learned and that you're always available. If people like your stuff, you'd be surprised how many people will refer you to people within their circle of influence.